Now at noon, a week after Ian caused major flood damage to an Orange County school, hundreds of students are finally back in class. Sky 6 just flew over Riverdale Elementary School where the water appears to be receding. But students are not back on that campus for now. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Justin Mormuth. Instead, they're attending classes seven miles away at East River High School. News 6's Ezzy Castro was there as parents dropped off their kids. We spoke to parents from Riverdale Elementary as they were dropping off their kids here at East River High School. Some of them telling us that it took them a little longer than usual to get here, but overall the drop off was fine. She's very excited to go back to school and she thinks she grew up because she's going out to big kids schools. <laughs> Aziz Al Gamadi brought his five year old daughter to East River High School. That's where she'll be taking classes while crews repair Riverdale Elementary. The district says about 605 elementary students are now at the high school. I told her her school uh, is damaged because of the flood and uh, she understood that she's gonna attend this school for a while and then go back. So I don't think this affects her more than like it's a new adventure for her. The building received two and a half feet of flood water from the Little Econ River during Hurricane Ian. Orange County Schools released this video of what the school looks like inside. Officials say not everything was damaged, but some things will have to be tossed out. So how do you feel about them ha coming to the school? And um, Well, it's a bit of inconvenience, but it's mother nature, you know, but so just rolling with the punches. Christy Colon dropped off her 10 year old daughter who was nervous about coming to a high school campus. But regardless, Colon says she's glad the fifth grader is back in class with her friends. She yeah. was very like, you know, afraid at first, but then she adapted quickly to the idea. And she's like, okay, well, maybe this is like a little challenge for her that she's going to overcome. So Riverdale Elementary students will be here temporarily. However, the district has not said when they'll be able to reopen the school. In Orange County, Ezzy Castro, going to results, News 6.